Yeah, I mean, hitting well is fun, but I mean, just being at the ballpark with the boys every day is even more fun. Uh, it's the reason why I came here, and then especially being my last year, uh, you take advantage of every day. Come to the ballpark with a positive mindset and just enjoy every moment you can. Locker room, field, weight room, in the hitting facility, whatever it may be. Uh, just enjoy coming to the ballpark. Coming off the fall. Some, sorry. You seem to have found some consistency at the bat, especially this weekend. What was working for you at the plate, and what have you been working on? Really just trying to see the ball, uh, hit pitches in the zone, uh, especially ones that I can drive, and try to drive them, not miss them. Um, and then when we get to two strikes, just battle. Don't, uh, just be a competitor, don't, don't give in, uh, and win. What was your mindset um, that last at bat? You get that triple. I saw that you threw the fingers up. What, what was your mindset going into that inning? So, I mean, they all call me slow in the locker room. And for some reason, <laughs> I'm, I'm in second place on the team with triples. So that's my third one. I mean, the first two came in back-to-back -back at bats. So something, I mean, it's got to be speed, right? <laughs> Tyler, you know, the fall, all the talk. You know, hitting the ball, leading the team in home runs, and then you don't get off maybe to the start that you want. How much of it just taking the adjustment of now you feel just here and on, and maybe it just took a little longer to get to get going for you at the plate? Yeah, I think uh, in the fall it was I, I was seeing the ball really well. I think when we got back over from Christmas break, uh, I struggled a little bit. You're right, and um, I just wanted to take it day by day. Uh, baseball is a hard game. You're not supposed to get a hit every time. You're not supposed to homer every time you square up a baseball. So uh, taking that with a grain of salt, understanding that it's a hard game and that it's a long season, just keep pushing, keep going forward, keep lifting weights, keep hitting, uh, taking advantage of recovery days and stuff like that, and just keep pressing forward, not letting it affect me too much. What have you learned about yourself and just this level yeah. from February to now? Is there anything like you're like, okay, I know this now, and this is make, allowing me to be better? I don't think so. Um, like I said earlier, I think it's just knowing that it is a grind, and you get that from playing uh, over, I mean, this is my fifth college baseball season, and none of them have been less than 50 games, so especially at the catching position, it's going to be tough uh, no matter what. So knowing that going into the season has helped me, even though I've struggled a little bit early, uh, to just take every day and take advantage of the hard work I can put in and I get to put in. What's kind of the message where you're telling the pitchers there in eighth inning, bases loaded, one score game? Pitch by pitch. So one at a time, can't control anything after you release the ball. So just get your sign, uh, commit to it, and compete with everything you got. Riley Cooper came in and finished that game pretty strong. Pivotal strikeout there. We all knew man, or not strikeout this time, it was last night. Um, what do you have to say about how he performed this weekend and what makes him so effective at the mound? Coop's the man. Uh, every time he takes the rubber, we know what we're going to get. We know that he's going to go out there and compete. Um, and it, we, we just know that he's going to be Coop. Uh, he, he, he's going to be in the zone. He's going to mix speeds in and out, up, down, and get guys out. That's just what he does. So we know what we're going to get when he steps on the mound, and I, I'm excited that I get to catch and work with him every day.